Welcome to episode 15 of the Planet Base series. Look at our little bustling colony. Look at all these people working and doing stuff. So, as you can see, this guy is starting to really pile up uh, to the point where we're getting some overflow into this storage. Um, not a whole lot quite yet, but it is a thing that is happening. So, we're going to want ourselves some more storage question is where. Um, how do we want to branch off going into the future with all the building stuff? So if we put one right here, as much as I'd like it to be the biodomes stuff flowing into it, I think it will be stuff from here. So metal, not metal, um, so things like the spares and the semiconductors. Which is actually really starting to pile up, those spares. So that's super exciting. So... I think maybe... I will have it come off of... Um... Here? Out this way? Yeah, might as well. The problem is, is how far they're gonna have to go to build that. So let's go with some source storage. Do we want a normal one? A massive one? just the small guy so um so some of this can probably come into here maybe they'll start putting the metal into here i do worry that this will guy will start becoming not very useful but hopefully it'll just be the ore hello medic yeah i don't really need any of your stuff i'm kind of producing it all on my own so thank you we're still on the search for the 200 coin valued patent. Get ourselves going on that. I really wouldn't mind getting ourselves some more biologists, but they do seem to kind of got this. Again, I was letting it run for like a day or two before I started the episode, and um, there was a point where almost everything in here needed worked on, but it didn't last long, so. Oh, I'm so excited we have spares. So it can stop yelling at me every couple minutes about spares. And we have stuff kind of like, we certainly have metal built up. We don't have to wait long on that. I don't see bioplastic in storage, but it seems to be, it didn't take long to get out here. So it's super exciting. You're still using the wrong machine. Nobody wants to run the treadmill. Probably because everyone's afraid of it. <laughs> I would be. There's no way. I'd fall on my face. There should be like a... Some kind of harness system like a, up above you took to. So that if you'd fall you just kind of float. Instead of getting cra trapped and just spinning around. <laughs> Completely out of control. So we'll have to keep an eye on this and see what all they decide to bring out into this storage. What do our little bots decide to do with it? So these guys are all full of stuff. At least these two are. These two are not. They're both missing bioplastic. God, I cannot get over that. That is a problem I'm having. It's like I said, it's never been a problem for me before. So we have people sleeping there. One person sleeping there. Two people sleeping out here. And I'm super excited. They prefer to have their own bunks. Like a personal bed, not a bunk bed, and... But I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before, but the problem is, is then they have to go to that bed. So if they're out here, and she's a guard, and I put her bed in a um, cabin here, then she has to walk all the way down here. Even if there's a bed here, that would be much quicker for her. She'd have to go all the way across the colony to go to bed, to get up, to come all the way back across the colony. So you don't have any control where they work. So do you... All of a sudden, all I want is one of these blueprints. But no. No one can bring me one anymore. Wouldn't be against getting some extra starch or bioplastic. Do we have... But what's your commission rate? Oh, that's not bad. Maybe we can get some starch. We'll get those. 
Oh, we have an extra gun. It's like, wow, our stuff went down to the second line. What, what do we have an extra of? <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get uh, all of their starch and then cover the rest with coins. I guess I could have just done that by hand. So we'll get five of each, which is fine for... We're getting five each, so ten items for eight of our items. I'm sorry for smacking you in the face. So we'll go ahead and do that trade. I'm good with that. Wait, I think I had that backwards. They're getting... You know what I'm saying, but in the reverse of what I was saying. So <laughs> they're getting ten stuff, we're getting eight. Maybe. Now I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I apologize. What's up with you? Why do you have a little uh, warning sign? Your happiness is low. Pardon. Morale. Your morale is low. We'll go watch some TV. Or a tree. Yeah, no wonder you guys' morale is so low. Your options. Work out, watch the news, or stare at a plant. That's what you get. Those are your choices. She's gonna have some food. Look at all these people in here! Oh, she's unhappy, but that's okay. There! See? She had some food. That made them happy. I think they thought- Looks like some salad and some cheese slices and some chips and god knows what that is. Potatoes. <laughs> I don't know. I love seeing all of these people coming in and going out. Such good workers. So you guys need to work on like your clothes size because your clothes are very very wrinkly. Look at, look at all those wrinkles. Are they just that dang baggy? They just bunch up from your ankles up to your hips? <laughs> all your clothes are very wrinkly. We need a, a room for ironing everyone's clothes clearly. Though to be fair, if you're living out on an ice planet, I don't think you mind. <laughs> All right, so the spares are coming out here, which is good and not good. I mean, it is kind of what I expected, but I do prefer them being in this one just because the door is right there and the spares go out to this place. Hmm. Is this? Yeah, I'm going to say this door can handle these for right now. I'm trying to decide if I should stick out another, um, airlock uh, right here. Like maybe even this should have been an airlock but I think it's actually fine because this airlock isn't all that far. They'll have to walk over this mountain but they don't seem to have any problems with that. So let's go ahead and check. Do our check. So this is our people. This is what we got last episode. We got ourselves the guard and the engineers. We still have mostly workers, biologists, engineers, and then now we have the same number of guards as medics. As for the food, you can see there is quite a clear increase in all aspects, which is much better than the reverse. We've not been without ore for some time, so that's incredibly exciting. <laughs> Watch it be like, tank! Just because I said something about it. Um, bio, the starch is just barely balancing over this. Unless they're considering this zero right up here. I don't know. This graph doesn't make sense ever. Because like we said earlier, we were looking at... What was it? Three... Three engineers? Whereas logically it'd be zero, one, two, three, four... Oh, I guess not. Okay, maybe I'm just the one that has the problem with math. <laughs> I was never uh, a kid who liked the graphing kinds of math. Much more of an algebra kid than a geometry kind of kid. <laughs> or statistics. Oh god. I've had so many statistics classes. Who knew studying people meant a lot of statistics? It's fine. It just means that I can look at studies and be like, Haha, that's bogus. These things are done so badly. These studies mean nothing. <laughs> so that's that's good. I can look at things and be the uh, judge things on the internet for being not true. As you do on the internet. <laughs> oh wow, we have three people sleeping out here. They have all of the bed bedrooms in use. Which is good with me. I'd probably go out to this one because there's just not going to be many people sleeping in it. <laughs> okay. 
video screen. It's back. And we have this one. Yeah, I must have accidentally. <sighs> Excuse me again. I must have accidentally um, built over this last time. And I don't know if you get your supplies back for that. I wasn't looking for it, so I wouldn't have noticed. So we're getting to the point where we really could be using more biologists on hand. So let's go ahead and turn this guy back on. I've adjusted the numbers here um, since last episode to increase the need for the biologists. What we will definitely not be getting are engineers, medics, or guards. We will probably get a mix of biologists and workers. Hopefully mostly biologists. We probably need more workers but it's not as easy for me to see exactly what I need them for whereas with the biologists it's like, alright guys, your plants need maintained and they're not being maintained. So maintain them. <laughs> So, oh, that's neat. I always forget that the medicine takes bioplastic. Hello, speaking of medicine, don't you be- Robert, I was just saying last episode that you weren't injuring yourself. But here you are back getting uh, medical attention. Again, I almost said repaired. <laughs> Not quite the term you're looking for. So we still have our three carrier bots, which is good. I wish you could um, like jump between them all. It's kind of oh, they're all right here. So this guy's gonna be the next to go. It looks like his overall. Well, yeah, he's not gonna last very long. It really does seem like the stuff that we personally build just does not last as long as the stuff we get when we land. Apologies for all the times that the game slows itself and I don't realize. <laughs> I don't know what caused it. I know that some things cause it, but I don't know all of the things that seem to be causing it. These have a thing. Alright. Which thing are you? The 400. But we can't afford that. I mean, we might be able to. Would we want a mega collector? Do we do it though? It would be one, but we'd be pretty much out of all of our coin. All right, we're committing. Great. So we now have one coin left. <laughs> now we gotta watch them all carry all of this stuff out. Look at them go. They're like little ants. Like how they carry stuff in the- Really? Seriously? A blizzard? <laughs> now you're gonna go injure all of my people as they go carry out food. Did you have to be like that? Let's speed that up so we can get that stuff traded. Thank god they don't have to carry the coins. Because I imagine that's a completely digital transaction. So... Good. We have a lot of food to carry out there. I guess just find this room kind of needs emptied out a little bit. Oh my god! Start. Oh man, hurry up guys. Get this traded out so that we can make sure that our um, people out here get in. Ooh. Hey. Those two are. Alright, good. Trade. There, okay, alert. So we collected this guy. Let's go! Uh... Oh, just in time for the start of the end. Sorry, you two. I was worried about the people who were out there in the mines, but. I really wanted to get that stuff traded. <laughs> Luckily we have plenty of medicine. Dude, this guy really needs help. I don't even know what they're maintaining on these things. Watering them, I guess? 
I can't imagine they grow weeds, right? Like, in most games you have to take care of the weed problem, but I can't imagine that they have those growing here. I don't know. Oh, God, I gotta stop hitting the mic. <laughs> Alright, so, what does that guy look like? So we have- this is the size that we have pretty much everywhere. We've started going up to this size, which we have right here. We've gone up one size bigger over here, sticking out in the distance, and then we got this guy. How big is- oh my god. He doesn't- nope. So what do we got? So we have two workers and one biologist, it looks like. Kind of not what I wanted, but- it's okay. That's fine. We're up to 25 now, so we're worth way to the century milestone. There we go. So that's good. I have no idea what we're doing for power. Oh man, we got a while before we get the power monger. We only produce like 130 at our peak, but you can't really tell how uh, big this guy is out here in relation to these, like, these are both very large. But if you come over here and compare it to the bedroom or, like, the lab, it's massive. <laughs> That's crazy. It's even big compared to this turbine, which is massive. Can you imagine how much power that would have- that would hold? Crazy amounts, I imagine. I really have been playing a lot of, um, it is called RimWorld, and you click on the thing and then you can hit uh, duplicate to build another copy. So every time you see me do that, go in there, click on something and go up here. That's what I'm trying to do, but that's not how this game works. <laughs> Unfortunately, it would be nice, but it is not how it works. So we've got our guns. We've got two in there. I do wonder... Um, Semiconductors, arms. Okay, no sense they're working on it. I was worried that maybe the guns that the people were carrying were also counting as the number of guns that we have, but it does not look like that's the case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that holds ten guns. Um, is there anything we're like low on production wise? Spares has actually been doing pretty good. Semiconductors. That guy's getting repaired, but it's probably the last time he'll be repaired. It'll probably break the next time. I'm super happy we got to purchase that, but now we're poor again. <laughs> For something we aren't gonna use right away. Oh my god. I guarantee the next ship that's coming by will have the blueprint for the Triller Bot. Ooh, I'll be so sad. <laughs> Because that is much, much preferred. But, like I said, I just want to start buying those so we can get that milestone too. So, how we doing little peoples? Everyone just seems to be doing pretty good. Watching some news, having some food, building stuff. It is nice to see that these are getting used a little- like as soon as they have the stuff there's people on them, whereas they were sitting there before. Get ourselves some extra beds out on this side. It never hurts to have them out here, you know? Um, yeah. And we're going over here. Medicine isn't being produced as much as I thought it would be with this second lab and I don't know if it's from the biologists, but I think it's actually from the bioplastic. Just it gets used in so much. But currently we have as many in one dome. We have one of every type of starch producer, so we'll just have to wait until we have another bio biodome. Which I'll probably start building up soon. I mean, might do that over here. Do a storage right here and then like the biodome branching off. I don't know. It's hard to plan what you'll need and where you want to go. But yeah, I might do like branch off here, have a biodome, storage. Uh, I actually might not be able to build right there because that hill. That is a very strange looking ship. Colonist ship. Did I fail to turn that off? So we got a biologist and an engineer. 
That is still the weirdest looking. What is this ship doing? Besides looking very strange. It's doing just that. It's looking very strange. Well, let's go ahead and turn this off before I forget. So we're now at these percentages. It's interesting it chose to do an engineer. Hmm. Oh well. I'm pretty happy with uh, the general gist of our target percentages. So, uh, if you're interested, go ahead and check the description down below for the upload schedule. Interested as in, in the next episode. Ugh. I've done this several times. You think I'd know how to do it, but no. But I clearly don't. <laughs> but until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.